September 11th, when terror struck the Twin Towers, thousands would die. But thousands more made it out alive. You could hear the bodies and people were jumping out. There were people's limbs in the plaza. Nathan Schulman is one of those survivors who saw the unthinkable but can't stop thinking about it. He understands why so many others have come to see what the terrorists did. I think this is desire to sort of to see it so they can get their eyes around it, so you can sort of understand it. But um, I don't know if you ever can. For that reason, he's doubtful about a city's ability to get back to normal. Children have returned to play like children do, but this one with his nanny can't go to his usual playground. It's near ground zero. No place to play? Yeah, no, no place. It's a city where some still wear masks, where repairs still go on, even away from the attack zone, where something that once dominated the view Plus, is just gone. You know, the World Trade Center was there. Now there are places where healing is the focus, but Nathan Schulman, who's lived his whole life in New York, has no idea when that life will be anything like normal. That whether you were there in person or whether you watched it on TV, um, you have to deal with it. This whole plea to get back to normal is a myth. Nathan told me he's not trying to be cynical when he says that, just realistic. He knows everyone who survived what happened right there will have to heal and recover at their own pace. He just doesn't know what his pace might be. Just outside New York City, Don Ward, WB2 News.